Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Ant Will Plays. Oh my goodness. I just found out two things. Well, first off, this is the first... This is the... F this, um... Well, actually the video before this was the first... Vi the video, well, before this one was actually the first video I've uploaded in 2019. By the way, Happy New Year, by the way. Um, this is probably the first video of Ant Will Plays, I guess. Well, also, I did not know I was at 13 chapters now. I, I, I'm so blind, I didn't even, I didn't even know. Well, anyway. Today we're doing High School Story Class Act today. I didn't do it yesterday because I was out with my family at the very minute before I was going to do the heist. But we'll do the heist after this. It's, I feel like this is going to be short, or I don't know. So, with that said, let's begin. The truth about Roy's mother comes out. The tr the Through the chaos, will you be able to find the real culprit of the broken leg sabotage? Of course, because I know, because we, because everybody in the Choices community knows who did it. It was Danielle. It was Danielle. I know it was her. Chapter 13. Bend, don't break. Uh... uh what? What? At rehearsal, my mom's in the hospital fighting breast cancer. Oh, it's breast cancer. There are a lot of cancers, aren't they? It's not looking good for her. Your friends overhear the outburst and stare at Rory aghast. Rory, I had no idea. I know she was sick, but I never imagined it was because the cancer came back. I thought she beat it years ago. Wait, he knew about it? But the cancer came back? I'm... Okay. Moving on. Sorry. It was in remission. But it's back with a vengeance now. Back with a vengeance, really? It's only getting worse, and we have to scrap together enough money to keep to keep treating her. <sighs> okay, this is tough. That's awful. I'm so sorry. How are you going to get the money for her treatment? Well. Remember how this play is a fundraiser? It's a fundraiser for my mom. What? What? Are you serious? I wanted to keep it under wraps because I didn't want people to know we were struggling financially. No one knew except Mr. Olsen and AJ, since they were in charge. So this is why AJ's been such a... a uh, you know what. Everyone turns to AJ who nods disponsibly. You can call me you can call me a Clint. <laughs> it's true. I knew how serious her condition was. I, w I, w I always want I always want my production to go well, but this is why I've been especially strange at this time. It's literally a matter of life or death. Miss Silva desperately needs money to continue chemo. But now that Tony's probably out of the play, there's no, there's no hope we'll be able to afford it. It'll be a struggle to get someone to replace you this late. The play's gonna suck. Not only that, but word's going around that the show is going down in flames because of all this drama. This won't bode well for our ticket sales. All this is because you think I planned... I planned to hurt Jordan on purpose, but I didn't even do it. 
Well, if you didn't, who did? That's what we're trying to figure out. There's a shuffle of movement in your every vision as someone stands trembling. I did. It was me. I did it. Wait. What? Wait, so you... you... Wait, hold it. So she... I thought we were gonna let her... I thought we were gonna let her... I thought we were gonna find a way for, for her... To find her as the culprit. So she... But she just admitted it. Anyway, I wanted Jordan's role because he played Rory's love interest. So I hit the box without wheels after Trevor placed it. That's why you couldn't find it, and I led you to grab the one with wheels. I thought if Jordan slipped on it, it'd mess up his audition a little, but it all went wrong. I never thought he'd break his leg. Why well, confess now? If you didn't say anything, we never would have known it was you. Even though we already... Even though we already, um... Even though we all knew it was her. Kind of. I wouldn't be able to live with guilt, not after hearing Rory's mom might die because of me. I knew the play was a fundraiser, but I didn't know it was for her. I never thought you could be capable of this, Danielle. I'm disappointed, but not surprised. Danielle's never been the best with theater safety. I'm sorry, I'm just so sorry, everyone. You don't ever have to forgive me, but I'll do anything to make up for this. I doubt there's anything you can do at this point. Aaron turns as someone opens the theater door. It's Mr. Olsen. It's time for us to investigate the box issue in earnest. That won't be necessary, Mr. Olsen. I did it. I'm taking my leave from the show. Good riddance. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. But that won't help the play, play raise money for Rory's mom. This will just make things worse. Who's going to play the witch now? Well, definitely not me. What happened, to, what happened to doing anything to make up for this? It's okay, Tony. Let her go. The theater door comes shut as Danielle exits the room. Well, that's one problem solved. But like Tony said, now we have no witch. Anyone want us to set up who knows all the witch designs? Of course. Sky Haltling raises her hand, clearing her throat. I know all the forbidden tombs, the cursed scrolls, I've read every last one. Sky, are you saying... Yep, I'll do it. I've been here since the beginning, so I know the part, of, part by heart. Nailed it! This just might work! Thank you, Sky. I'll take over the visions over the visual effects now that we've planned out then them out. Yes you no, oh, I'm with Rory. Thought you hated being in the spotlight. I do, and I always have. But after everything you've all done for me, I'll face my fears just this once. For your sakes. Aw oh, Sky. Okay, that's enough rejoicing. Now let's get this play into shape. Later that night, Biscuit bounds onto your lap as you sit in the chair. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. You're the best, fuzziest boy. Busy rolls under the floor and you rub his soft, fluffy belly. He wags his tail so enthusiastically that it makes a soft thumping sound against the hard wood floor. Your phone buzzes and you fumble to answer it with one hand as you continue to pet Biscuit with the other.
OMG, I'm finally reading my text now, and holy cow, I was worried, okay? LMAO, I see that. Sorry I didn't respond earlier. I kind of had a lot on my mind. It's okay, I get it. I know you were in a rough mind space with your mom and all. Thanks for being understanding. I thought you might sue me for all the emotional distress I put you through. Of course I wouldn't. Especially with you you guys struggling to pay for your mom's medical bills. You wouldn't have been able to pay me anyway. For real though, my dad's been working overtime to earn some extra cash. I'm lucky if he's home by midnight. That's a bummer. I get it though. He has to try as hard as he can to help my mom out. Just things were different. I'm all alone in the house now. I'm here if you here if you I'm here for you if you need it. And I'm sure my parents and Lucy would love to have you over if you're too lonely. I appreciate it, Tony. It means a lot. Don't mention it. I won't abandon you. Good. Because I won't abandon you either. No matter what it looks like. Well, I'll keep that in mind the next time you don't respond for three days. You glance up at your window and you see Rory smile in her bedroom. The glow of her face illuminating her face. After a second, she looks up and meets your eyes. She waves mysteriously. You and Rory text late into the night as you do your homework. Do homework. Eventually, you complete your last assignment and go to bed, feeling the best you have in weeks. Okay. Now that I've... Okay. Now that I've been clear that now that my name's been cleared, it's time for something else. An apology from everyone. The ones that believe me, they're fine. The ones that didn't believe me, they all need to apologize. Especially those two. I'm, I don't remember their names. I, I don't know. A few days later at lunch. You're waiting in the lunch line when you see Danielle alone at a table. She slumped over her arms resting in her... She slumped over with her head resting in her arms as if she's taking a nap. <sighs> That's new. I was the only one who pretended to be asleep when no one wanted to talk to me. Part of me is enjoying this. Maybe someone should be the bigger person and go talk to her, though. At first, I suspected she was crying crocodile tears. But it really seems like she's drowning in guilt over what she's done. The three of you look back over at Danielle's prone form. She remains motionless. Alright, I'll go. Just to make sure she's still breathing. That's our good kid, Tony. Ugh. After grabbing her food, you go over to Danielle and sit down beside her. She listlessly lifts her head up a few inches to peer at you with messed up bangs. What do you want? Are you here to remind me I'm scum because you wouldn't be the first? No, I never do that. I just... I thought I'd check in with you. You don't need to. I don't deserve it. It's your chance to hear Danielle's side of the story and help her turn over a new leaf. You might learn something about Rory, too. Hold on. She wears that all the time? I thought she was wearing jeans or something. I want to learn more about Rory. About Rory. Let's do this. You pull your lunch tray beside Danielle, who straightens up, taken back. Why why are you doing this? Don't you hate me? I don't know, really. I guess I want you to have sh to tell your side of the story. 
You're too sweet, Tony. I'm sorry if I I'm sorry I've treated you you the way I have. I've been been horrible to you, you, Jordan, and even Rory because of me pursuing her. The accident would would never have happened if I wasn't so hell bent on getting closer to her. Hey. At least you learned from this, right? You could turn over a new leaf. Change is the best apology. Yeah, maybe. You know, all my life people have called me a... Well, you know. I think I know what I know. But it wasn't until now that I've realized they were right. I just regret everything now. And now Rory, one of my few f real friends, probably will never forgive me. Rory, forgive you? Time will tell depends on you, how you handle it. Knowing you, I bet you could think of some way to swing things, or things in your favor. Since you're so... What's the word? Manipulative? I was going for shrewd, but suit yourself. Danielle frowns at you as she munches on her burrito. I wonder if it'll help it help if you were buddy buddy with me in front of Rory. Would it make that big of a difference? Of course, Rory wants to look good in front of you. You know Rory likes you, right? Like likes likes you. Wait, she does. Wait, she does. Are you sure, Tony? It's obvious, and I thought Rory, Rory was obvious, oblivious. What was I supposed to tell Rory? I'm supposed to tell Rory is nice to everyone, including you. It's a different sort of nice. She thinks you're cute. I can see it in the way she looks at you. It drove me crazy. I was super jealous, and that's, p and that's part of why I've been like this to you. Dang. It takes guts to admit that. So kudos. Honestly, I feel a little better telling you all this. Just spilling it all, of, being it, just spilling it all, out of the open is freeing, in a way. I don't any, I don't have anything left to hide. Neil takes a handful of French fries from your tray without asking. Hey, I thought you I thought you were sorry about being mean to me. Sorry, I just automatically did it. Looks like I still have a long way to go. I guess it takes time for a leopard to change its spots. Tony, are we cool now? If I have anything to say, if I have any say in it, yeah. Let's start over. No hard feelings? Works for me. Thanks for giving me a chance, Tony. You and Danielle finish eating just as the bell rings and you head off to class. As the weeks pass at rehearsal, I'll skin you alive and make you into a handbag. Come closer, dear prince. E AJ claps as the scene ends green, grinning widely. Sky, you've brought the witch to life. Almost too well, if you ask me. I'm going to be scared of her in real life now. Come closer, dear Tony. No! <laughs> How could you lie to me? I had no choice. Yes, pain, struggling. God, smirking, AJ steeps, lifts his hands with a sinister glint in his eyes. AJ is so elated. I don't know whether to be happy or afraid. Me neither. But you can come closer to me, dear Tony. Oh, there's danger everywhere I turn. <laughs> During break, you catch AJ studying his math textbook, staying a loaf of up afloat. Yes, 
even with less than stellar tutors sometimes. My Akron, uh, Akron, whatever's are good, okay? I didn't name names. It's telling that you feel targeted, Rory. Aaron smirks as Rory chases AJ. They're around the room shouting. So glad we're all friends now. If these are our friends, our enemies are done for. At long last, the, it's the final dress rehearsal before the show. I think that was the best run we've had yet. Hey Jay, what do you think? Are you proud of us? That was really great. It wasn't like you guys at all. Everyone cheers at AJ's back. Yes, we did it. Yeah, that guy. The one that said, yes, we did it. Go home, everyone. Do it just like that tomorrow. As people get changed and dispersed, you notice Rory bringing up the map app on her phone. Going somewhere? Yep, I'm going to pay a visit to my... We pay my mom a visit at the hospital. How's she doing? She's a bit more stable than she was a couple weeks ago, but she's still too sick to leave. I know I gotta put on a brave face in front of her, but it's so hard to hold it together seeing her the way she is. Normally I would go with my dad, but he's working overtime again. Is there any way I can help? Well, do you think you could come with me? It'll mean a lot. My mom misses you, too. She'd love to see you again. Me, too. Except I promised Lucy I'd help give Biscuit a bath today. It's okay. If you can't go today, we'll definitely get another chance. She can... It's a one-person job, job to job to get a to get a dog and a bath. So I want to be there for the two of you. <clears throat> yes, I was really really hoping you'd say that. It's been what two years since you've talked. Three, two. I think she came over to my house with a bunch of peers because she. She bought a million when they were on sale. Oh, pears. What about the time my mom baked too much? Too much cake and gave you guys some. I wasn't home that time. Just Lucy. Why is my family... Why is my family your mom's garbage disposal when she has too much of something? That's what neighbors are for, aren't they? Let's go. Rory drives you to the hospital. After parking, the two of you step into the lobby. It's been a, it's been a while since I've been to a hospital. Follow me. My mom's upstairs. My mom's wing is upstairs. You take in your surroundings as Rory leads you through the halls. Is it just me? Does the hospital air feel weird? I don't know if it's psychological or what. Right. It's probably because people always say there's tons of germs at hospitals. You pause as you pass a gift shop. Rory senses that you've stopped and looks back at you. They have boquettes here. Want to get some for your mom? Oh yeah, she adores flowers. Does she still have that one sunflower pattern shirt? I used I used that to recognize her as a kid whenever she wore sunglasses. It was hard to see her face. That's a smart trick. She still has she still has it. She does still have it. Though she doesn't wear it much anymore. It's kind of baggy now that She's lost weight. You and Rory examine the boquettes lined up in the shop. Which one should we get? Pink Paradise, a baby's breath, 
Don't be blue. Don't be blue. Don't be blue is exactly the we want to have for your mom. I'm sure any boquette would do for that, though appropriate name or not. <sighs> How do you know? Maybe this maybe this one's named specifically because it has a better anti blue effect than the others. I guess we can't risk it. Then let's t take Don't Be Blue. At the register, Rory reaches for her wallet, but she swiftly and her and the cashier your money first. Tony, let me pay for this, Rory. I mean it. But the word you're looking for is thanks. Rory pauses for a moment before shaking her head, smiling. Thanks. Now that's more like it. You're welcome. Rory takes the bouquet and she nods at her head in direction of the door. Shall we? Nervously creak the door open. Mom? Oh, Rory and Tony, what a pleasant surprise. Miss Silva, it's been too long. When Silva struggles to sit up in her bed, she gaunt and haggard and far sicker than you've ever seen her before. You force a smile, your vision blurred as you blink back tears. You look great, Tony. You look great, too. You're as sweet as always, Tony, but you don't need to lie. I know I, know I don't look too glamorous with this whole cancer thing going on. Miss Silva How are you so positive about this? It doesn't feel right to joke about your your illness. Yes. You you can say cancer, Tony, I have cancer. And personally I think I need to have a sense of humor about my situation. Without it, I'd be pretty danger would be in a dangerous spot right now. Come, sit down. There's chairs. We Roy really pull the furniture up to her bedside and take a seat together. Rory's been talking about you a lot lately. Thanks for being there for her. Mom What? It's true. I'll pretend I didn't hear that if it makes you feel better, Rory. It's okay. I guess you deserve credit where it's due, even if it embarrasses me. The vase on Mrs. Silva's his bedside table clinks as Rory grudgingly places a, the bouquet there. We got you some flowers, Mom. Oh, you sure, you sure know how to lift my spears. The anti-blue worked. You were right, Tony. Huh? What's this about? Nothing. Rory's just learned to trust bouquet namers now. Mrs. Silva gives you a, a bemused look, then covers her mouth as she yawns widely. Feeling sleepy? Just a little. I was tossing and turning all night. I feel exhausted, but I have a hard time actually dozing off, especially in the in this hospital bed. But enough about me. Tell me, how Lucy and your parents are doing, Tony? Boy, do I have a story for you. So on the first day of school, Lucy met this girl named Amber. Oh no, not this again. And then she wheels another ice sculpture into the cafeteria. Sorry, you two. It's time for Miss Silver the rest. Aw, already? We'll see ourselves out then. Bye, Mrs. Silver. See you later. I hope I can make it to watch to, to the play and watch you perform. You will. I believe in you. The doctor walks you and Rory outside after shutting the door to Miss Silver's room. She turns somberly to Rory. 
Don't lose hope. Your mom's a fighter through and through. I'm glad to hear you're raising money for her or with the school play at Barry High. If there's anything if there's if there's anyone who deserves it, it's her. Thanks, Doc. I'm glad you think so too. Rory's voice weavers as she he says it and when the door strides down the hall, you gently put a hand on her shoulder. Rory Don't say anything. You're going to make me cry. You wrap Rory tight in your arms. She clings to you like a shipwreck survivor to a lifeline. She exhales shakingly. There's a telling dampness on her cheeks as she rests her sh head on your shoulder. The two of you stand there just holding each other her clothes for a long time. Finally, Rory pulls away from you, smiling faintly through your tears. Thanks, Tony. I didn't mean to break down like this in front of you. I don't swear it. You seem, you seem worse from me over the years. I don't know what I do to deserve you. You did everything, don't worry. You stay with Rory until she's ready to leave. Once her tears have dried, you return to the parking lot together and go home. The next evening... Everyone in costume? Heck yeah. Oh man, this is really happening. All of our work... All our work up till now, it all comes down to this. Don't remind me. I think I'm gonna puke. My god! If you do that over our sets, I'll never forgive you. Curtain's up in 30 minutes. Let's do my mom proud. Will the play be a, six, be a resounding success or a flop? Up for the ages. Well, we'll find out next week. <sighs> Sorry. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Mm -hmm. Share this with your friends. Comment below what you think of the video. If you want to get notified of all the videos I put up on my channel, you hit the notification button next to the subscribe button. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Excuse me. I meant to say bye. <laughs>